Rimsky O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today. Very funny. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Can you drive to this one? You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Murkowski. Talking from experience. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. I don't think so. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Seems irrelevant. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Taking the flag as a souvenir can't have any street value. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Empty. We better see what this Jacobs guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard after all.
Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You gonna tell me what I wanna know, or do I have to drag it out of you? You should learn to talk to older people with some manners, you son of a bitch. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Not a loss. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. This isn't what we're looking for. You all seem to be. 
be standing around. Shouldn't you This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks, ma'am. You know the way. You can drive. You can drive. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me.